Okay, family, today we are making some greens and I am making them in my pressure cooker. Um, now, I have not used this pressure cooker in some time, but I decided that I would take her out, dust her off, um, because I don't have that much time really. It's 2.38 in the, in the afternoon, so I really need to get busy. So I need these greens done like fast. So we can ready to get busy. First, I put my meat inside of the pressure cooker with a little bit of water. Um, I am cooking my greens today with salt jowl. Smoke, smoke, smoked salt jowl. Say that three times twice, right? Okay, anyway, so what we're getting ready to do is we're going to take some of the pressure out of this pressure cooker so that we can open up the cap and figure out where we're at on this meat to see if this meat is done. Usually it does not take that long to cook uh, your meat inside of a pressure cooker. You can actually cook... Um, like smoke, um, ham hock, and things of, uh, things of that nature. Stuff that really take a long, long time to cook. Your, um, even your, what else can I think of that takes a really, really long time to cook? I want to even say, um, what's the other? Oxtails. I couldn't think of the name of it. But oxtails also in your pressure cooker and, um, it would take like half the time. Okay, family, this is what we're using. Okay. Um, in my greens, I do not put black pepper because black pepper definitely changes the taste of your greens. So, we're not putting any black pepper whatsoever in our greens. But we are adding some crushed red pepper. I'm going to put some chopped onions. Some Laurie's seasoning salt. Some white distilled vinegar. Some oil, some cooking canola oil. And we're going to add like a little bit of sugar, just a little bit just for taste. Not to make it sweet, but just to add to the flavor of the greens and give it more taste. Now, the greens that I'm using today, um, I'm using the bag greens of Cut and Clean. I'm using turnip greens. And I'm sandwiching those with the curly mustards, okay? These are the greens that I cook. I don't really... Uh, particular care for collard greens because they're tough as all get out and they just smell so I don't like them and you have to chew them chew them chew them chew them chew them and it's like you gotta you know a lot of times with collard greens a lot of people uh, mix those with their mixed greens because it's a stretcher and it makes it more you know the pot bigger or more fuller shall I say but in my particular case no these two bags are good, for, are good enough for us so let's get busy Okay, family. Okay, now what I initially did was I started um, my smoked jowl um, in here and I started this um, and I let it go in the pressure cooker. It's kind of, you see the meat and stuff is cooking away. You see like, you know, bits and pieces of the meat just kind of breaking up. Um, that lets you know that the meat is pretty much done because it begins to split like that and it begins to break up. So, what we're going to do is we're going to add our greens onto this pot. One thing about um, when you buy your greens in a bag already, they're seemingly washed already. So, we're just going to take for granted today that they're already washed. We're not going to rewash these greens. We're going to walk by faith on these ones right here. Okay, so we're going to add our greens. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to add both bags just now because I want these to kind of steam down a little bit first before I begin to add the other greens to it, the other bag to it. So, we're going to add some seasoning salt. You know, I add that pretty liberal. But also be mindful to the fact that you just added some smoked meat in there. And that smoked meat sometimes can be a little salty. So, we're going to add some minced onion. We're going to add some crushed red pepper. Ooh. Damn. <laughs> okay. I didn't realize how, how wide I opened that. But still, you know, my folks like it a, with a little bite to it anyway, so it don't matter. Now we're going to add some, uh, and you know, you don't really measure too much of your stuff. You just really just kind of add and stuff. So, and then we're going to pour some cooking oil in here. OK, 
Okay. Now I'm going to just get a little bit of sugar, just a little, little, tiny bit of sugar. Okay. Now we're going to cut this back on and let it do what it do, baby. Okay, family, you see we have about nine minutes left. But when you're working with a pressure cooker, you always, always, always want to take some of this pressure up out of this. Because it will definitely explode on you if you do not. If you do not take the pressure out of this like this before you open it, your pot will literally explode on you. And it's going to be really, really hot, steamy um, juice from whatever you're cooking. So when you're working with a pressure cooker, always, always, always take the pressure out before you open your pot. Okay, family, it has been the 30 minutes. Um, again, you want to make sure that you've taken out the pressure from your pressure cooker. Now, this is what it's looking like. Let me get a huge spatula. Okay. So, in those 30 minutes, now this meat now is all the way done. You see that? One thing about a pressure cooker, look at that. Now, you know, to cook a meat like that inside of greens would take a very long time in a regular pot on the stove. But with a pressure cooker, baby, I tell you what, you can eat a pot of greens in, in about an hour. Shall I say, in about an hour, your greens will be completely done. So this is an appliance that you might want to have in your rotation in your kitchen is to have a pressure cooker because I tell you what, when you're cooking a lot of good food and you want it to get you want to get it done in a certain amount of time, always, always, always bring your pressure cooker on board because you can get it done in a short period of time. Okay, family, we're gonna set this again back on steam. We want it on high, and let's say let's do another say let's go thirty minutes. Oh, that's. 25 minutes because that meat is already done. So, and then we just press start and let it go. Okay, family, I want to show you guys the uh, result of the greens cooked inside of our pressure cooker. Um, total, I would say we did about an hour. We did the first, what, 30 something odd minutes, then we did another 30 minutes. So, this is the outcome on how they came out. See, only hand me that bowl, that spoon with the holes in it. Um, this is the way they look. Um, with a pressure cooker, um, it will cook that meat down, baby, so good. You see what I'm talking about? That's some good eating right there. So I'm getting ready to plate this up with some hot water, cornbread, and some jambalaya and stuff. Alrighty. Okay, family, this is all plated up. We have our mixed greens here. Um, we have some jambalaya, and we have some fried chicken wings with hot water cornbread on top. Bon appetit.